Hey everybody, welcome to my Corsair A7200 series unboxing video. Uh, if you're looking for an overview on whether you should build your own PC or buy this pre-built PC, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video specifically for that. Um, but I want to start you off by showing you which PC we're going to be talking about in this video today. You can see that there's a 7200 or an i7200 version of this on Corsair's website, as well as different price points. This unboxing is specifically for the one that's $2,300, the A7200 Vengeance PC. The box came in good condition and it looked very ordinary from the outside until you actually opened it. And then inside you can see it's really well designed interior packaging and, and the logo use was inside the box. I thought that was very, very neat to see. It comes with a nice hardy template on the top that shows instructions on the PC as well as how to put it together. After you remove that though, the first thing I see is a very nice foam black padding holding the PC, but in between that, uh, we get greeted with a power supply cord and it threw me off and you can tell I'm looking at it weird because it's in a Ziploc bag. You'll see here in a second that the manual for the computer was also in a Ziploc bag. I find that very strange. I don't know why they did that. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be packaged, but that's what I got. Um, now let's go ahead. We can see that the PC is, is wrapped in pla um, plastic at this point. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that on the ground. We'll move the box and make room for the PC on the table. Something that I really like on this was that the face of the tower uh, has very, very nice ventilation. I also appreciated how the vengeance symbol in the front at the top, it has a lime green element to the name, and I think it was actually very tastefully done. Um, let's go ahead and turn this computer around so we can take a look from the other side. Now, on this side, there are two screws that are holding the top and the bottom of this panel together. Um, I'm gonna tighten them right now by hand. And I do also like that the lime green from the front vengeance was actually the rim of the screws that are holding the, the side panel on. We can see that there's a lot of packing foam also that's hard, holding in the hardware. It, it's, it's molded perfectly to the actual inside. You can see that just by how I'm holding it. It's very firm, nothing's gonna move around with it. And it was very nice to see that it was so secure. Now, once we take that out, we can see the power supply. It has a nice ventilation system on top of where the power supply goes. And it's very similar to the venting panels on the front of the PC itself. There's plenty of room between the power supply area and where the GPU is located, which means there's a lot of room for air circulation, which is great to see. We also have a fan on the back top. We have two fans on top with a radiator, as well as three intake fans on the front, all of which are RGB. Uh, they connect through the IQ Corsair system, so you can actually control anything that's Corsair related on your PC that's connected to the motherboard uh, to, to match in colors, which I thought was very cool. Something that I want to point out is that the Corsair site doesn't supply which brand of GPU they provide, and this is actually why I wanted to make this video was because I was wondering this myself. So I chatted with them on their online support before I actually made the purchase and I find that their customer support isn't very helpful at all. You can see that the GPU provided in this was actually the Gigabyte OC8 gig version one. I'm not an expert on GPUs or anything. I heard this is very, very good. I just didn't, I wanted to know, was it a Gigabyte? Was it a Founders Edition? Which model do they use? And now you know. Later on, something I want to gripe about a little bit was that I was wanting to upgrade my RAM to a 4-stick memory when I bought this because I knew that the motherboard held 4 DIMM slots, but what I couldn't find was the speed of the RAM that they provided with their build. Uh, they're the speed that they provide on their actually pre-built, which is now on their website, is an 18, 20, 20, 38 or 3200 megahertz, and you cannot find that online. After I got the PC, I contacted their chat and their phone customer service, found out that that actually speed of RAM is not available for sale. It's a manufactured RAM provided by Corsair, but they don't sell it, which is very stupid and very frustrating. So what this would mean for you, or in this case for me, it means that I need to, in order for me to upgrade my RAM, I have to buy all four new stick, uh, sticks of RAM that match the same speed. Otherwise, if I mix the two speeds together, my computer will crash, and yes, I did already do that because I bought two sticks of 8 gig 3200 megahertz RAM for the Corsair Vengeance Pro series, and they were two different speeds. And I had to reset my BIOS and do all that stuff. It was a really fun time, but it sucks. Um, I've escalated this to Corsair. They said they'd get back to me in the next 48 hours as of today, 
that I'm making this video and hopefully they can give me something to make that fixed. Moving on to the other components, uh, I'm just gonna list them all here on my screen. You can obviously see them on the actual Corsair website itself. From a cosmetic perspective, I found that the computer came out very beautiful and I like how it visually looks. I didn't have any cosmetic issues with the hardware or the case that was provided. I know some people, when they get shipped their PCs, may have issues with the glass bending or certain parts being bent um, or having slight damages or blemishes on their hardware. I had none of that with this PC itself, just the two things I mentioned earlier. So I hope you enjoyed my review and I hope it really helps you out with understanding what goes into the Corsair Vengeance A7200. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care.